What is going on everybody? Welcome to the 10th Python with PyQt video series tutorial. In this video what we're going to be talking about is adding a drop down menu but also, or a drop down button rather, and also changing the style of our window. So that's actually what our drop down will be. It'll be about the style of the window and users will be able to choose different styles for their window. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. So we're gonna add this style, this button. We'll do it to home. We could put it in the init. This one, it would make a little sense maybe to put it in the init, but since this is a button, like if you were gonna have something that changed the style, you'd probably have it in the main menu, but I wanna show you a drop down menu or a drop down button, I keep calling it menu. If I was showing you a drop down menu, we put it in the main menu. I wanna show you a drop down button, so I'm gonna put it in home because that makes the most sense, but really if you were gonna change style, you'd put it in the main menu and you'd have it up here. But it's a tutorial where I'm trying to teach a drop down button. Shoot, killing two birds, one stone. So, coming down here, we're just gonna add some more stuff and we're gonna say self.style choice, uh, style choice equals qt gui dot q label now we haven't actually even shown labels yet but here you go and uh first we'll start with just windows and actually i believe mine will be windows i'm on windows 7 but i think the default is actually windows vista uh, you can put whatever you want in here. It does not really matter. You, well, I'll show you actually how you can find out what you're using. Uh, so we'll pass self. So to find out exactly what the default style is, what you can do is you can just we'll just print it out. Print um, self dot style empty parms dot object name camel case that object name, and that'll tell you the style you're currently using. I'm almost positive mine actually uses Windows Vista, even though you're on I'm on Windows Seven. Now, now that we've done that, we're gonna create what's called uh, the Q combo box. But the combo box means a drop down button. <laughs> so anyway, combo box equals QT GUI dot Q combo box self. Um, then we're gonna say uh, combo box dot add item. And now we're going to add all of the various items. Now there's, uh, there should be about six, maybe some more, some less, depending on what operating system you're on, but add these. If they don't exist, it won't like crash or it shouldn't, at least it didn't for me. It just won't change your style. So you have some choices. There's motif and then there is uh, regular windows. Then there will be uh, CDE and then there is plastique. And then you've got clean looks. Actually, it's not camel cased. Clean looks like that. And then Windows Vista. I'm kind of a fan of the clean looks, but whatever. So now that you've got that added, what we want to go ahead and do is let's move our combo box. So we're going to say uh, combo box dot move. We're going to move it to 5250. That should be good. Self dot. Um, and then we're going to say, uh, where did style choice, right? Self.style choice uh, dot move. We'll move it to 5150. And then we're going to say combo box dot activated. So this will be like the default. Um, and it also, it'll display what's uh, activated. So we'll say string dot connect. And then we'll connect to self dot, um, this will throw me for a loop. Uh, we'll be fine actually, style underscore choice like that. So once we've done that, we're gonna come down here and we need to define our method of style choice. So if this is all the GUI aspect stuff, so the combo box, placing it and showing the current value. Other than that, what we need to do now is create the method which is actually gonna do something with the choice. So define uh, style choice. Whoops, and we need to pass self. Then what do we want to do? Well, we're going to say uh, self dot style choice dot uh, set text uh, to text. So let me go back up here, right? So this will set our text. So self.style choice is just the label that is saying what it is. And then the button should also say it as well, but we're just gonna show labels really quick too. 
Uh, let's see, self that's where am I? Style choice move it Self dot style choice set text text. And then we're gonna say qtgui dot q application dot set style. And we're gonna set the style to qtgui dot qs style factory factory dot create text. Okay. So what this does is it just sets the style of your GUI to whatever, there's certain types of Q style factories, and those are, these are the types here, the major types, but again, you might have something like, you might have like Macintosh, right? If you're running a Macintosh, you have that style, and it's probably your default. Uh, but otherwise, you generally, everyone will have at least, uh, not Windows Vista, but everyone should have these, for sure. Anyway... Uh, that should be it, unless I messed up, and because we're calling a lot of things style choice here, so it's totally possible I screwed something up. Let's run it and find out. So here is our, our choice. Windows Vista right now. Motif is the one that's selected. We need to, we should probably move that up. But anyway, let's click on Motif. Ah, there we go. Uh, text. So, okay, so obviously, um, let's go, so, text. Let's close this. Self, style choice, obviously needs the text parameter try one more time there we go okay so you can see here when I clicked Windows that changed we can do the download and you can see that's a little different you can check the boxes here you can see that's a little different and even like moving this thing around you can see that things are just it's just acting quite a bit different you got Windows CDE is like an old-school kind of look uh, very basic and then you've got things like plastic plastic's pretty cool. I like that plastic might be the one I was thinking of actually that I prefer um, And then clean looks. Yeah, I like clean looks too. They're kind of close I suppose and Anyway, and you can like move these around so you can kind of decide which you like better uh, as far as all these variations so you personally can kind of come through and uh, you can change the default style. So these de these styles should go with you. But like like plastic, motif, CDE, uh, and clean looks. These are all possible to uh, move cross platform. So if you wanted it to look like this all the time, then you would use plastic. You would just need to reset that so it doesn't use the person's default style. Otherwise, everything else pretty much remains the same. All the code remains the same and stuff like that. But there's like a lot of little minor changes. I think things look a little better with plastic. You know, I just can't tend to like it. But plastic or clean looks are probably the best. Um, but I like this one a lot, especially because it has it adds a scroll bar when things are a little too small, as opposed to like clean looks, which didn't. It just like stuffed them all in there. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, anyway, uh, that's that. If you guys have any questions or comments up to this point, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and the subscriptions. And until next time.